You're listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. Each week, your host, Polly Requa, interviews veterinarians and individuals in the pet industry from across the nation answering pet questions. Bark and Wag podcast is produced weekly for your enjoyment, and show notes can be found at BarkandWag.com under the podcast tab. That's B-A-R-K-N-W-A-G.com. Please remember to subscribe to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Bark and Wag is dedicated to protecting our dogs through advocacy, education, and supporting like-minded dog lovers by selling custom pet products. Bark and Wag is excited to announce our new partnership with a Colorado hemp farm to produce a line of CBD products for your pets. Bark and Wag has CBD pet tincture available in 300, 750, 1200, and 2400 milligrams. Bark and Wag CBD is pet safe, no THC, it's made in the USA, and is CO2 extracted. Please check out Bark and Wag's website, barkinwag.com. That is B A R K, the letter N, W A G.com, to see our line of CBD and awesome merchandise. We love pooch ideas for podcasts and merchandise. So anytime, send an email to Polly at barkinwag.com with your suggestions. Welcome to Bark and Wag 15 Minute Vet Talk. I'm your host, Polly Requa. Today we're talking to Ryan DeRoche from Massachusetts. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Polly. How are you? Good. So just a little bit background about Ryan. So several years ago, uh, Ryan, who lives in Boston, was in a mountain bike accident that resulted in severe spinal cord injury and left him with little to no use of his arms and legs. His life changed in an instant, but through Massachusetts-based National Education for Assistant Dog Services, needs ryan was matched with the service dog oliver so tell us about uh your experience and oliver sure um so my experience uh with spinal cord injury has been amazingly a good one um i've had a a lot of um, feeling and function come back um, but i'm still very reliant on others to do a lot for me you know it's hard for me to be independent so you know looking for ways to make myself independent as as possible is what I do. And, you know, after a couple of years of getting my life back in order, I decided to start looking into getting a service dog. And that's when I found Needs. And I applied with Needs. Uh, They have a a great online application. And you go through a whole process and an amazing training program um, where they train you to work with the dog. And they placed me with, with Oliver. Oliver really, really helps me with being more independent, especially uh, outdoors. Uh, I was a very outdoorsy person before my injury, and um, I really wanted to stay that way after. So um, when I got Oliver, he's, he's really you know, allowed me to get out a lot more and be a lot more confident when I'm on my own without my, you know, my, my human caregivers. And um, it's been a, been a great experience ever since. And so what type of uh, dog is Oliver? He's a black lab. And how did they match you? Like, where was Oliver trained? So Oliver is um, part, mostly trained um, in a prison pup program. So inmates at local area prisons, um, they actually train the dogs for needs. Um, and it's, a, it's an amazing program um, that not only, you know, trains dogs to help people, but it really seems to help the the inmates kind of you know rehab through their whole program. Um, so it was a really really cool experience meeting those guys. Oh wow! And then, what are some of the ways that Oliver helps you during a typical day? So he one of the biggest things for me, as you said, I you know I, I lost some function in my my upper body, so I drop a lot of things. Okay. So he he fetches things off the floor. Um, but he's also able to do, he can flick light switches on and off. He can open a refrigerator door and get something out of the refrigerator for me. He can get my phone if I were to drop my phone or if I were in an, in an emergency, you know, if I fell out of my chair or anything like that, he could get my phone for me. Um, it's it's pretty amazing what, what he's able to do. Wow, that that is super. And yeah. then when I was watching the video, which um, I will post on the show notes, you and Oliver... You volunteer together at Spalding? Yes. Um, for about five years now, I've, I've been a, a, a spinal cord injury peer mentor. Um, so I visit people in the hospital that have recently had a spinal cord injury and 
really try to help them um, kind of get through all the all the steps that uh, that everybody goes through with um, having a spinal cord injury. And Oliver is an amazing icebreaker for sure. But it also really shows people that you know a service dog can really help with day to day stuff. Also on the video, so uh, it's um, www.protect from fleasandticks.com and the video uh, it says that every morning you wake up and you and Oliver exercise and we do so we go <laughs> we go outside and and throw the ball around for him it's really important to keep Oliver really healthy and one of those ways is to keep him almost like an athlete where he gets you know anywhere from uh, 40 minutes to an hour of exercise at least a day um, and also I bring him to the vet a lot to make sure that he's really really healthy so he gets all of his proper medications. One of those medications is uh, to protect him from fleas and ticks. So we, we use Brevecto, uh, which is recommended by needs. Okay. And we um, actually just had a vet on the podcast last week, and we were talking about ticks because the tick issue with the weather has been horrible in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. You know, my friends, I'm in, actually in Colorado, but my friends have been taking their dogs on hikes and they'll have 30 ticks on the yeah. dog. I mean, it's, it's just so gross. So, um, yeah. One of the things that um, I've learned, especially about fleas and ticks, is that they can affect me. And where I have a, a little bit of a compromised immune system, protecting him from fleas and ticks um, and other parasites is really important to protect me as well. So it's, it's really, um, you know, a good idea to check, check your dogs on a very regular basis um, and make sure that they're protected with the proper medications um, through your vet. And Ryan, can you tell us about how you and Oliver are part of the campaign called Perfecto? Yeah, um, so Oliver and I came ambassadors for Perfecto Cares, which is an awesome campaign where not only is it an education for people with their pets um, to make sure that they are protected, but also it's a big uh, sweepstakes uh, where you can go to the website and enter to win um, dog baskets. Uh, So they have like toys and treats. And on there you learn, again, you learn about the the medication, but you can also learn about needs a little bit more and the, the journey that Oliver and I went on. So it's it's a great website that can really um, help you learn a little bit more. Super. And regarding needs, is that just a Massachusetts-based organization, or do they train service dogs for across the country? You know, all over. They they are based in in Massachusetts, but they do train dogs and and get um, handlers from all over the country. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure exactly what states they do. Um, work with, but I'm pretty sure they are a nat- uh, national organization. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. so to go back to Perfecto Cares, how did you get involved in being uh, involved with that organization? Sure. Yeah. Uh, needs really knew that um, I was an outdoorsy person. I, I go out mountain biking and hiking and stuff with, with Oliver. So, um, you know, they, they knew that he was exposed quite a bit to the outdoors and all that comes with it, um, which, you know, fleas and ticks are, as you said, ticks are really bad right now. So they, um, they approached me um, along with, with uh, Merck Health, uh, which does Brevecto. And, um, you know, they, they asked me if I'd um, talk a little bit more about, you know, making sure that my team, you know, Oliver and I are, are working great for years and years. Oh, super. Well, if you ever want to come out to Colorado, we'd love to have uh, I would love have it. You. <laughs> I would love it. I, Colorado is amazing. I've, I've only dri- only driven through there, but it's uh, it's an amazing, amazing place. Well, we'll um, get you on the mountain. I'm sure you awesome. love that. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on the podcast, and we look forward to having you back. Thank you, Polly, very much. Have an awesome day. Thanks. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address, www.barkandwag.com, to your friends and other pet owners. Have a pressing question for a veterinarian? Ask your question at barkandwag.com under the podcast tab. This has been a KFR production. Join us next time for another edition of Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk.